The Celera 500L bullet plane, which is set to revolutionize private air travel, has been revealed. It is a six-person craft developed by California-based Auto Aviation that boasts groundbreaking fuel efficiency with eight times less consumption. And yes, it can fly at jet speeds. With a maximum cruising speed of 460 miles per hour and a range of more than 4,500 miles, which is twice that of other aircraft of the same size. The aircraft, powered by a red 803 engine, is expected to be commercially available by 2025, but the price will not be known until the main production begins. Stick around till the end of the video as we take a detailed look into what this jet has to offer. And without wasting any more time, let's dive into it. History Looking at its history, Bill Otto established Otto Aviation Group LLC in 2008 with the intention of developing the Celera 500L aircraft. In January of 2018, the aerodynamic prototype successfully completed its first flight, and in September of 2019, performance testing got underway. In August 2020, Auto made a public announcement regarding the aircraft and its development program, noting that a total of 31 test flights had been flown to that point. Within the next 18 months, it was anticipated that a weight-optimized conforming prototype with cabin windows and longer landing gear would make its first flight. Certification from the FAA and deliveries are expected to take place between 2023 and 2025. The pandemic will continue until the third quarter of 2021, during which time two additional flying prototypes will be added to the program. However, by March of 2021, the prototype will have completed more than 35 hours of flight tests. Odo then made the announcement in 2022 that it would be collaborating with Zero Avia to develop a hydrogen-powered variant of its aircraft. Cabin so what's the actual look of the cabin? The unusual shape of the fuselage provides to be very useful here, as the cabin dimensions are very good for an aircraft of this size. The volume is 448 cubic feet, which is sufficient for a spacious arrangement of six business class seats, and the ceiling height is 6 feet and 2 inches, or 188 centimeters for most machines of similar dimensions. This is quite high, and it would mean that passengers can stand here at full weight without bending to get to their seats. What's interesting is that the Celera 500L, which appears to be a representative of general aviation, does not really have much to do with it for local traffic because the plane is too fast and long range, while for search specifications, it had to pay with high minimum speed and high demands for airfields. This is not your usual commercial airliner, but the light landing gear and low composite fuselage would hardly be able to handle bumpy, unpaved runways. The Celera 500L has capabilities comparable to a jet aircraft, allowing it to claim several niches at once, business and surprise mass commercial aviation. Well, for the first part, it's obvious that if we consider Celera as a six-seater business jet, it looks pretty decent. Engine the single red A03 turbocharged V12 four-stroke aircraft diesel engine of 370 kilowatts can operate as two six-cylinder engines to provide redundancy auto targets, a balanced fuel length of around 1,100 to 1,200 meters, and a fuel economy of 18 to 25 miles per gallon of jet fuel. The flight controls are mechanically linked for single pilot operations and will be outfitted with instrument flight rules avionics. The claimed 22 to 1 glide ratio with 370 kilowatts of power should yield a 0.33 meter squared equivalent flat plate area drag with an 11 meter long fuselage and a 17 meter wingspan. This would allow for a top speed of 348 miles per hour at 9,100 meters and a true airspeed of 497 miles per hour at 20,000 meters. But the critical altitude for red A03 is 7,600 meters. Transonic wave drag would limit propeller efficiency and laminar flow would be difficult to maintain for a large portion of the fuselage due to windows and panel seams. Diving even deeper, the configuration is similar to the 1948 planet satellite and the claimed 59 drag reduction is difficult to achieve, while laminar flow would not reduce lift-induced drag. It can achieve a 1 to 22 glide ratio like modern airlines, better than other general aviation designs but lower than most gliders, thanks to its high wing aspect ratio and lack of sensational drag reduction. The maximum speed is 348 miles per hour, but the cruise speed must be lower in order to reach the 5,157 mile range. Pushing the laminar flow to its limit may compromise handling characteristics or structural efficiency. While it is not the near Superman Mach speed of Citation X, it is extremely fast for a piston-driven engine. The lightest jets and turboprop aircraft max out in the mid-345 mile range. With a range of 4,500 miles, you can fly from any point to anywhere in the United States 
with hundreds of miles to spare. The Celera 500L is powered by a single V12 diesel engine built by the German manufacturer RED, and it was the most efficient aircraft engine they could find to match the most efficient aerodynamic body. Soon, the diesel engine could be replaced with an electric or hydrogen engine to make the plane emissions free. However, for the time being, carbon emissions are reduced by 80% over competitor aircraft on a per-passenger basis, which is better than most airlines and makes it meet the 2030 emission requirements. Pricing Odo believes that the plane will be available for purchase sometime around the year 2025. Do you think it's worth the wait? Even with that, the interest in this aircraft continues to grow all over the world, and some estimates place the audience at approximately 100 times larger than the current market for private aviation. There are plans for two larger models that could fit up to 19 and 40 passengers, respectively, making them competitive with regional planes. Initially, the plane will be sold to private customers at a price tag that is close to 5 million. But before that, the Celera has a long road ahead of it, including years of test flights and full aircraft certification. Additionally, it has to deliver on an impressive set of promises. It all sounds exceptionally promising, but probably too promising given the combination of range speed capacity and a meager powered engine. Given all of those metrics, Odo needs to demonstrate that it works. If it can achieve what they claim, it should be scalable upward. Odo Aviation is making significant claims in terms of aircraft performance. If you are not ready to own it, you are also in luck as the better fuel economy leads to a low operating cost of nearly 320 Arly. So, what's up with this jet and the environment? Before we get to answer your question, how about you take a moment to hit that like and subscribe button for more content? Done? Okay, let's move on. Environment safe? Now, the most important thing here is lowering the amount of emissions produced by each passenger or aircraft. The benefits would be immediate, even on routes that already exist. If people rode in planes like these or larger planes that Odo plans to build in the future. In addition to this, emissions could go down even further if flights on airplanes were more closely and cheaply tailored to the particular requirements of individual passengers. For instance, in Las Cruces, New Mexico, which is where I was born and raised, the closest airport that provides commercial flights is located an hour's drive away. But there is a smaller airport located between 10 and 20 minutes away. If flights with these significantly less expensive to operate planes became more common from wherever you want to wherever you want, the rental car industry would almost certainly suffer. But things would be much better for the environment as a result of the decreased use of air miles. In addition to the positive effects on the environment, there are a great number of other potential potential advantages. To begin, rather than taking a commercial flight with one's family, one could spend the same amount of money on a private flight instead, which would be much more convenient and less invasive. You could be treated like a passenger in a limousine or at the very least, and the loading process could be similar to that of Uber. This would be a significant improvement over the alternative of paying to be handled as though you were livestock or a potential terrorist. The experience would be significantly more enjoyable in the air compared to a flying coach. There is significantly more headroom, larger seating in first class, and additional space in general. If you enjoyed the video or found it informative in any way, make sure to check out Inside the Best Seller Bombardier Challenger 350 by clicking on the video here. And until next time, goodbye.